it's been snowing for like four days, especially earlier today. It was really heavy snow. But right now the sun is finally out. So I'm just sitting in the garden, soaking it in. But I just wanted to have a little update video because it's been a few months since I've posted a vlog. I didn't like mean for it to be so long. It's just, I felt like I had nothing of worth to share or say, but you know, it's been long enough now where I have plenty of beautiful clips I wanna share with you and some thoughts that may or may not be valuable or entertaining, but yeah, I just felt like it would be good to say hi to everyone. I've been posting a lot on my art channel so if you follow me there, it won't feel like it's been a while, but I guess the biggest update is that Wolfie got COVID. So we were self-isolating for almost two weeks and that's finally over. And if the weather improves this week or next week, I will be going to the coast and who knows where else, but I just like need to go somewhere, even if it's 15 minutes away. <laughs> it's, I have cabin fever. <laughs> Um, thankfully, my neighborhood is really pretty. Even just walking around my little garden is very inspiring. So today I'm gonna share what's been happening since January, basically. During February and March, it was crazy weather, but we did have a few days of glorious sun and warmth in March before the really cold, wet snow returned. Today is April 5th and the sky decided it's not done snowing. Okay. Let's go back inside because it's very chilly. Our resident seagulls are being quite loud today. So much has happened since my January vlog, and yet not really much at all. And as you may have seen, we did have a little mountain adventure at the end of February, but here at home, I feel like I've just started to come out of hibernation. Spring equinox has come and gone. Weather here in More is as unforgiving as anywhere else. Though in March, we were really lucky to have several days of sun and warm temperatures, you know, just enough time for me to start the garden and for the blossoms to take their first breath. It feels as though being an observer of nature, I'm reading the prologue to summer and the plot seems undecided. Rain, sun, snow, gray, warm, green, rain. And on it goes, playing its game, leaving us guessing what the next page holds. Plants are happy. I need to actually put them in bigger pots soon. And sometimes peas don't like to be transplanted. So like the sooner you do it, the less roots you disturb, the better. I mean, they sprouted really quick, so I'm not worried if I have to redo them. What I love about this time of year is that feeling of hope, knowing the darkest days are behind and so much is yet to come. The unfurling of life will be really quick and abundant, and the signs are already there. I'm 
Sometimes I get completely overrun with fantasies of epic adventures in other countries, only to have those dreams come crashing down as I remember my own restrictions. Instead of being depressed about it, I turn to what I do have nearby. Focusing on small details in the landscape rather than epic views has always helped me stay grounded and grateful. As you can probably tell, I've been loving my new Fuji gear. The lenses are absolutely amazing and I feel I can capture everything I want to in perfect clarity. No, my plants. <laughs> Thank you all so much for watching and for all the comments you leave it's very encouraging and I just love hearing or seeing how many people have a beautiful connection to Scotland and hopefully you'll all someday be able to visit. I'm going to end the video with some clips I took on the coast when we had that stretch of warm weather and hopefully it will leave you inspired. I'm definitely looking forward to warm days ahead and sharing lots of that with you all. Okay, I'll see you all again soon. Take care.